do it the wind's not in down. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Sasha Sasha, Jay Jet, how are we all doing? <laughs> Good, I don't know if you can tell, but I've started drinking again! <laughs> That's right, we come out of the lockdowns and I went, I ain't fucking doing that again. <laughs> I was saying for the whole lockdown and then I, as, we, as it was coming out of it, I was like, glory holes. <laughs> <laughs> Wet knees. <laughs> I'm having to remember any of it. God, like, that's just what I wanted. Um, I, I really hope we don't have to go into another one. I, th I don't think we could take it. Like, who knew that our national, like, anxiety trigger was going to be to bake banana bread? Like, that's not... <laughs> that's not fucking useful. Are you good in a crisis? Yeah. I have a lot of recipes I know off heart. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking great. Um, so I'm gonna be doing some stuff tonight that I did. Uh, I did the other night, and it was really good. However, it was kind of improvised, so who knows how much I can remember. <laughs> Are we up for that? <laughs> good. It's nothing too weird. It's nothing too out there. You know what I mean? It's just the story of the first time I went to a gay sauna. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And are there there's straight men here, aren't there? Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for coming out. Um, the, the rest of this set's not going to be in your favour, I am going to admit. Um, but just to explain the concept, a gay sauna is an actual sauna where men fuck each other. That's the concept, because the last time I did this, afterwards, someone came up to me and went, huh, gay sauna. Yeah, did you do it in drag? <laughs> yeah, I went into a fucking steam room. <laughs> Hi, boys. And that's the quickest way to get sectioned I've ever had. <laughs> the quickest. No, but so I went to my first one. It was up in Manchester. Uh, I went there after a big night out. Um, I was very high on MDMA. And... Um, you know when you're really high on MDMA and you're like in the crowd? <laughs> I found my purse and that's all I need. Thank you very much. Good night. No. Um, so you know when you're on MDMA, like you're dancing in a big crowd of people and you're like, oh my god, these people are my friends. They're my family. Everyone loves me. I am at one with the world. <laughs> that kind of energy is not inviting in a gay sauna, as I found out. Um, <laughs> turns out, for a load of men who just want to anonymously fuck each other, quite a hostile environment. <laughs> I will admit, I will admit, it was the most toxic masculine thing I've ever done. And I once been trying to put up a shelf. <laughs> I've never known anything like it. Like, I was just walking around thinking like it was going to be like, just men chatting, and then there's going to be one fucking in the corner. No, it was a lot more aggressive and angry than that. Um, like, it's hard to explain how, when you walk into a room and there's four men fucking on a bed, in the open, whilst porn is playing, and there's a man wanking in the shadows. <laughs> Which, that was the moment I realised, you never want to just be the man wanking in the shadows, do you? <laughs> I saw him, I just went, you live your life, queen. You live your life. <laughs> but four men fucking in the open, there's a guy wanking in the shadows, and it's weird when you realise you're the strange one for saying, hello. <laughs> <laughs> the look of rejection you get for just doing something that you thought was incredibly normal. It was a very jarring experience. Um, but I went and bought poppers and it all worked out fine. Because <laughs> uh, you know, growing up, I never fit in with all the other boys. But as I got older, I realised all the other boys fit in me. <laughs> Maybe not all. But that's where you get the poppers. <laughs> No, um, it was really, really interesting. It got me to think about kind of like toxic masculinity, just masculinity in general. Because I'm on a bit of a gender journey. Don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I think I'm definitely cis male. 
And this is how I express it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cis man. I'm a cis man. I'm a cis man. No. Um, I'm, some, I'm somewhere definitely in the middle. I've never really fit in with any of them, or I'm nowhere and nothing. What are your pronouns? No. You look very lovely tonight. Can I buy you another drink? So, just go on now. No, but I got to thinking of it, and like some of the things that really get me is kind of men's fashion, because it goes on, it goes on mini journeys. It never really strays too far from the central dial, but um, like the kind of hipster fashion, that was the first thing where it started to get really different. Do you know what I mean? Like the offshoot of the kind of scene kids. Um, and it was all very much like Fred Armiston dressed as a pirate. Do you know what I mean? Back in the day. It's all like a lot of deep v-necks and thick glasses, but with the lenses popped out. Because they were too good for that. I can see. I don't need any of those fucking lenses. I'm a fucking man. Look at my Puka Shan necklace. Do you know what I mean? Like, but now it's become like... All men are just dressing like your dad's hot electrician, mate. <laughs> it's got lots of industrial wear, lots of beanie hats in the summer. Like, there's no reason for it. Like full combat trousers. You've got them here. Oh no, you don't. That's a coat. Oh, thank fuck for that. Yeah, no, because the combat trousers get me. All those pockets. <laughs> Why do you need all those pockets? <laughs> like, if anyone in the room has met men, what's going to put you on edge more than what the fuck you're hiding? <laughs> it's a Tuesday at 3 pm. Why do you need 11 pockets? <laughs> you're a graphic designer in Bethnal Green. Like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is in there? It really bothers me. <laughs> It scares me. Um, I mean, as you can probably tell, growing up, I wasn't very masculine. Um, my dad did try, bless him. Always got to always try, try getting into like football and sports and all that. Never liked it. Um, I think we we just saw it in very different ways. You know, like he would watch football for the beauty of the game. I would watch it for the beauty of the men. I'd see a football team a little bit more like a takeaway food menu. <laughs> Let's start off with number five and then probably move on to 36. <laughs> Does anyone want to split 18? Oh, oh fuck off. <laughs> We're in a gay bar. What a shit that that's happened here. It's <laughs> true. Yes, look. Any, any queer venue you've been to, the worst things you can imagine, Nothing of the sort. It is so much worse. <laughs> and that's why I'm here tonight. Uh, yeah, I can't remember where I was going with that. Uh, men are weird. I don't like their trousers. That's why I don't wear them. Um, I guess I'll finish up with... Um, so, in lockdown, did anyone else just lock down with like, one other person? Yeah. Okay, I did that as well, it was just the two of us, which uh, I thought was quite nice, because like, as we'd lost touch with reality, we did it together. <laughs> it was very sweet. Um, but one of the things we just did was just like watch films continuously over and over again. Uh, and it just got to the point where we were, we were just watching films, and I was just watching films I didn't like. Uh, and one of those films that we actually watched a couple of times was uh, Mamma Mia 2, Here oh, We Go Again. Oh. I'm gonna disappoint. I really wish I had fucking hadn't. Because um, I, I just didn't like that film. I thought there were so many things wrong with it. But there's one good thing about that film. Share. There's one good share. Let's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not get too excited. Do you guess the drag queen was gonna think share was the best thing? I mean, it's not. We're not gonna have your mastermind at any point, but you know what I mean? <laughs> But you know, I fucking loved it with Cher, 
Like one of the main reasons was she, every time she's on screen, it was an entrance. Every time. She even entered on a fucking chopper. Which I don't think was scripted. <laughs> I think she just rung the producers like one day and was like, I'm arriving on a fucking chopper, you forget her or you don't. Like, <laughs> I fully, fully believe that. But my favourite part of it, my favourite part of the whole film, is when she stood on the big balcony at the top, and then she turns around and goes, Fernando? <laughs> it's my favourite part of the whole film. And I just thought it was fucking hilarious. So I just kept, kept parroting it to myself, like, all the time. And uh, my housemate fucking loved it. She thought it was hilarious as well and the staff comedian I was in lockdown, I just kept doing it because I was getting laughs, you know. Um, and then after a couple of, I was going to say weeks, but probably months, but to be fair. <laughs> after a couple of months, uh, she turned to me one day and was like, oh, you know what, I think you're getting really good at the accent. Which is when I thought, we need medical intervention, this is not going to happen. <laughs> but, you did get me to thinking, maybe I am good at accents, so I'm going to try some accents for you tonight. <laughs> I haven't actually got me prepared, so. I'm gonna ask you to shout out some names, famous people, not like, my mate Dave, which I've had. But, famous people, and I'll pick one of them, we'll do the impression, okay? Yeah. Nadine Coyle. Nadine Coyle, thank you, I was about to say. Oh. Yes. Okay, Nadine Coyle, Nadine. Fernando? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, great, okay. Uh, let's do another one, let's do another one. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> we'll go with. Who, wait, who was what? The dead one. <laughs> <laughs> I meant he said what? <laughs> he said which one? And we'll go with the dead one. So Jimmy Carr. Um, <laughs> it's not even satire. Uh, no, Prince Philip, Prince Philip, yeah, Prince Philip. Yeah. <laughs> Fernando? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay, uh, we'll do one more. Madonna. Ooh, ooh. Uh, wait, wait, no, again, again, again. Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Okay, Freddie Mercury. Hey, it's a tough one. <laughs> 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 Fantastic.